guys, what is going on? Poggy here coming at you guys with a new video and today's video is actually going to be a thumbnail tutorial and this has been a video that I want to do for so long and I've been waiting to do this and yeah, it's just a video that I want to do because I am really experienced with the program Photoshop which is what we're going to be using in here and if you guys don't have Photoshop and want to know how to get it just be sure to put it in the comment section and I'll make sure to make a video about it so you guys can get it for free and I did the same method and I know it works so I can do a tutorial on that and you know what guys I'm just gonna get right into it also I'm be I am gonna be having a thumbnail PSD down in the description that you guys can download and that you guys can use in your videos and hopefully I get you guys motivated to make them videos and push out the good content so yeah guys without further ado let's just get right into it so first thing you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop right and then you want to just make a new document and the document depending on your video if it's 1080 or 720 or whatever it is but I think I'm just gonna go with 1280 by 720 not 1080 I'm sorry <laughs> so you wanna make an like a normal document like that then you want to go over here also I have Steven Vance channel open big shout out to Steven he makes so many good videos makes so many good tutorials be sure to check him out I'm gonna have his link down in the description and hopefully I can see the check mark here pretty pretty soon and yeah guys so let's get right into it uh, for this video, I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial for myself. It's going to be a live gun game tutorial. Uh, live gun game, what? Tutorial, what am I saying? I'm going to be playing live gun game, and I'm going to be making the tutorial for that. So, yeah. So, first thing I want to do is I want to go over to Black Ops 3 and screenshot. Okay. So, we have a Black Ops 3 screenshot. This is actually pretty good because it's 1280 by 720. But I'm, I kind of want to get a in game but you know what this works as well because you're not gonna see it too much you're just gonna have a little bit of a background to it like this so after you've copied the picture from here and then you want to just right click and copy click on control V in the Photoshop screen and then you should just get it here If that doesn't work you just want to save it and drag it into the document it's pretty much that simple now you want to click on control U or if you're on a Mac, you want to click on Command U, but I'm on Windows tonight, so tonight, what am I saying? Today. So we're just going to be making, dragging down the lightness and stuff like that. I want to be dragging it down to 75, and you want to drag down the saturation as well. This looks pretty freaking dark and like not eye catching at all, but don't worry, guys, it is going to be. So now you can just do whatever, click on Black Ops 3 weapon. I'm just gonna take a random weapon. Let's take the um, let's take the Vesper because I love the Vesper. And then we'll just go over to Vesper PNG. Then you should find a picture like this. For any weapon you search up, you should pretty much find a picture like this. I think I want the Vivo because it looks pretty nice in thumbnails. And oh my God, I just opened up After Effects. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, so now we we'll go over here and click Control V. And they should get this picture. If you're on Windows, this might happen to you sometimes that it like has this black shit on it. You just want to basically use the little magic wand to just tap on the black sides of it, and then you basically just want to backspace to like delete it. So now, as you can see, we have this little weapon here, as you can see in most Call of Duty thumbnails. And uh, yeah, I'm not copying anybody, it's just that everybody does this, and yeah. So you want to do the same method again Control U. And this is actually some shortcuts that you guys can use in the regular Photoshop day, and uh, it's really helpful actually. And you want to kind of you want to keep the saturation to where it is, but you want to drag the lightness down a little bit, depending on the picture. But this is a little bit too light for me, so I'm gonna drag this down. Now you want to find a color that you want on the thumbnail. I'm just gonna go with the color green because my channel is pretty much based on green stuff. So we're just gonna drag the size down on this. I mean up. Why did I say down? Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna make an inner glow, and I want to have this on screen. Uh, the inner glow wants to be on screen because it looks a little bit more nice that way. I don't know how to explain it. And then you want to have an outer glow as well, and this one should also be on screen. But you want to make this one a little bit darker. I don't know why it looks so nice like this. And then you basically just want to click on OK, and then you should have this saved. 
Now you want to make a new layer here. I'm, I'm trying to go through this a little bit fast, so if you guys do have some problems, please stop the video and look at what I'm doing and stuff. And if you don't know what I'm doing, just be sure to type it down in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, so you want to kind of just take this, I don't know, zoom out. But the way you do this is I have a mouth. A mouth? What am I saying? I have a mouse, so you want to click on Alt, and then you want to drag the little scroll thingy, and then it will just automatically do it by itself. And then you want to make a brush. You want to make it a little bit like 600, 599, whatever it is. And then you want to drag this up a little bit like this, right? Make this screen, and then drag the opacity down. So after you drag the opacity down like that, so now you have this basically looking pretty nice actually by now and now you want to just make the text here or first of all you want to do the lighting the lighting is actually pretty simple I don't know why a lot of people are stressing the lighting all the time but it's really simple you just want to make a brush make the white color and then just drag this a little bit over here and then you want to just zoom back in and then drag this down you don't need to put it on screen just drag it down to where you feel like it's a little bit like the lighting is good and stuff I think 40 fits for this one because I like a little bit hard lighting kind of and yeah also I like to use some like simple fonts I don't like to use too much uh, OP fonts you know that have like so much stuff on it I don't like that so we're actually gonna pull this thumbnail then we're just gonna resize it and if you guys don't know what I'm doing now is I'm clicking control and T and then I should get these little markers kind of and then you want to hold down shift always remember to hold down shift while you're resizing something it's so important because otherwise it's gonna be like this and that is nice if you hold down shift it's just gonna resize it like that so also be sure to hold down shift and then drag this a little bit to the side and then you can hold down alt and drag it down and it will automatically just duplicate it and um, yeah so you get two text files now and what you do is you want to you see this little picture which has the t on it you want to double tap on it and then you want to put in whatever kind of text you want but we're just going to be calling it thumbnail tutorial and what i do like to do is if it if it's a little bit like over the weapon i like to just drag the layer under the weapon because it looks pretty nice actually then you can add layer style to it I usually don't add too much layer styles but I can add like for example a gradient overlay and if you guys don't know how I open up that you want to double tap here and then you want to go over to gradient overlay and just I like to make this completely black and then I just drag down the opacity a little bit and then put on a little inner shadow I want to make that white and then you can just drag it down like this because I feel like it looks pretty nice. And you don't have to like do it all over again on the other text. You can basically just right click and click on copy layer style and paste it on the tutorial one. So now you have a nice, nice, pretty much almost done thumbnail, right? And you can have this over here. So now you can, for example, add some pictures, do whatever you want to be creative, guys. Like... This is so fun to work with and it's so much fun to like play around with thumbnails and all that kind of stuff. So be sure to be creative and put in whatever you guys want to. But for me, this thumbnail is pretty much well done and I feel like it's just finished and it's looking really clean and it's like really eye catching kind of because it has the green colors and it like blends very, very well together. And yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me going, and it really keeps me motivated to keep pushing out the good content for you guys. And hopefully, I motivated you guys to make thumbnails and make content of your own. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. That's been it. Peace.